In this video, we'll learn how to use a STRET block added to a CFC to detect a particular operating state. Three main tasks are required to set up automatic smart alarm hiding. These tasks have been divided into three videos. First enumerations have to be created to represent the different operating states of the process. Next, we need to add and configure a special block to detect these different operating states and associate them with the new enumerations previously created. Finally, the alarm messages to be hidden are selected in Process Object View and tested in OS Runtime. This video demonstrates how to use a special block called STREP in your CFC configuration. This detects different operating states of your process. Each detected operating state is assigned to a specific previously created enumeration value based on its configuration. First, we need to get a copy of the STREP block into our master data library. We do this by clicking the Open button on Somatic Manager's menu. Selecting the Libraries tab, and then selecting PCS7 AP Library version 8.0. Click OK to open this library project. Expand Blocks plus Templates, then Blocks. Locate and select the block STREP, which is FB1801. Right-click this block and copy it. We can now close the PCS7 AP version 8.0 library. Now expand the master data library until you get to the blocks folder. Right-click the blocks folder and paste the STREP block. The STREP block number FB1801 is now part of your master data library. Collapse the master data library. For this example, we'll expand the AS plant view. Up to the R310 heat folder. Now select this folder. Let's create a new CFC here by right-clicking the area to the right of the selected heat folder. Selecting Insert New Object, and then CFC. Rename this CFC as State Rep. Open the new CFC. Let's lay down the STREP block that we just placed in our master data library. Select the Libraries tab at the bottom of the catalog area to the left. Expand the Master Data Library Blocks folder. Expand the All Blocks Family folder and locate the STREP block number FB1801. Drag it to the CFC. The STREP block is used to tie a detected operating state to the operating state enumerations created in How to Configure Automatic Smart Alarm Hiding Video 1 of 3. To be able to demonstrate different operating states, Let's lay down an OPDI01 block to represent the maintenance state and another one to represent the stop state. The OPDI01 blocks will provide block icons in the OS to allow us to change the active state without leaving the OS. Let's give the top OPDI01 block the name Maintenance by right-clicking it selecting Object Properties, and changing the name to Maintenance. Click OK to accept the changes. 
Open the object properties of the second OPDI01 block. Change the name Stop and Save. Change the strep block's name to state rep. The strep block must be assigned to a block group in order to identify it as being used for hiding messages. While we're in the properties of this block, let's enter the group name reactor and then save. Now connect the maintenance block out parameter to the state one parameter of the state rep block. Connect the stop block out parameter to state two parameter of the st rep block. This configuration will allow us to simulate a maintenance or stop operating state from the OS runtime. Let's go back to Somatic Manager. For this example, we're going to identify the alarms from TICA 315 temperature control as available for smart alarm hiding. This is done by opening the TICA 315 CFC, locate the control PID, right click the header of the control block, and open its properties. Enter the block group name Reactor. Click in the Messages button. We'll open the message configuration, showing the messages that will be available for smart alarm hiding. Click Cancel. Select OK. Now let's compile the changes we've just made. Changes is OK. Click OK. Close the log. Finally, the changed program can be downloaded to the AS. Click the Download button and select Changes Only. Click OK to start the download. Close the log after the download is complete. Close the CFC editor. Collapse the Plant View folders. Don't forget to watch How to Configure Automatic Smart Alarm Hiding Part 1 Enumerations and Part 3 Process Object View.